hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you hear my voice, I ask that you harden not your heart. For I'm just a messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn, all right? Thank you guys for the likes, subscribes. Ooh, hallelujah. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Shares and views. Thank you for everything. It's greatly appreciated, my love bugs. So we're going to go ahead and get into it on this good Thursday. We'll go ahead and do our reading in the energy of Gemini, okay? So um, this reading is for anyone else as well. Any, anyone and everyone come one and come all. It's just not for Geminis, all right? But the part that is just for Geminis, okay, is these lucky numbers. So if Gemini is your sun, moon, or rising, or happens to be somewhere else in your chart, these are going to be your lucky numbers. And then the rest of the reading will be in the energy of Gemini, okay? Let's get into it. Let's get some lucky numbers for you guys. Oh, let's get a couple lucky numbers. My goodness, boy. The whole deck be about the... Gemini, it just don't matter, child. Just any number and every number. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, that's a lot, child. All right, I'm only going to do it once because this is quite a few. So rewind it if you need it, all right? 41, 62, 50, 60, 63, 35, 45, 15, 24, sheesh, 13, 59 and 8, all right? If you need those numbers again, go back and get them. Again, these are lucky numbers. You can do whatever you want with them. Gamble with them. Use them throughout the day for angel numbers and inspiration. Let these numbers bring some luck into your life. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we have for the collective in the energy of Gemini, Holy Spirit? What do we have for the collective and the energy of Gemini? Thank you for divine guidance, fair communication, and divine protection as well. Somebody need to clean some up off of them because they like the trick. I think that, I know y'all like, dang, she she went from that to that real quick, but I just got to say what I saw. Yeah, somebody who liked the trick got to clean some up off of them at this point. This person is a karma. Yeah, they. I think they went and got something. They feel like they need some cleanse and ASAP. They might be burning a little bit. This is a result of trying to send some dark magic towards somebody else's way. They were in a very low vibration. They might have went out here and did something with somebody and contracted an STD just for being in that low vibration. They got maybe a sexually transmitted demon for trying to send this death magic, chaos magic. All right, this person is receiving karma. Sex was involved in this situation some sort of way. So maybe they were doing some sort of sex ritual. A fake practitioner that didn't like you they pretended like they cared for you this person tried to send an attack at you maybe you didn't even know this person was a practitioner for some of y'all some of y'all y'all knew that this person was straight up karmic and it was just you know only a matter of time before something came out about them doing spell work on you but this person did not want you to have this new cycle they were trying to change that for you sending chaos magic towards you if you are in a relationship and you were going to have a child this person tried to take your child away from you okay this person did a lot of low vibrational things and now they're suffering um the beggar very codependent and broke this person nobody wants to sleep with this person no more they can't get any more money they can't trap people with babies is what i'm hearing this witch doctor was trying to use some sort of herbs to cleanse herself but she can't that's why she needs to come around and get in your energy because she needs to be cleansed of it you're the actual herbalist and this person is a copycat but this person is a copycat that was sending the bullshit at you now this person, after they've been sent spell work at you and they caught some damn disease or something, now they're trying to come at you with some love spells so that they can come back towards you. They want to tell you the truth about what they did and why they did. Ask for your forgiveness because apparently you're supposed to be all holy, earth and thou and whatever. So they feel like you just need to forget them no matter what they did. You're supposed to forget them, right? What? You better tell them people, listen, God forgives and you don't. That's why when you let go and let God, you don't handle the forget. You, you don't handle that department no more. People say you still need to forgive. Yes, the situation. But the person, you don't you don't weigh their heart with the feather. You don't you don't run the scales. Send them on up the road to the one that make the decisions. You live your life and do what you're supposed to do. I'm telling you, this person need help. They don't know what to do. They feel like, why am I feeling like this person feels like you're supposed to have an STD and you don't? Yes, this person feels like you're keeping some sort of secret because you was out here with this person. Okay, so maybe this person may have caught an STD from somebody that you used to be in a relationship with, but you didn't give this person that. But this person is now maybe in a family with them. They were trying to do some manipulation and 
they snuck behind your back and maybe went and got with this person or they just linked up with this person and maybe they feel like this person gave them an STD. I'm hearing people are arguing about who gave who the STD. So you know both of these individuals and they're arguing about who gave who the STD because both of them was in third partnerships. But like I said, I think just because of trying to send maybe these STDs towards you or just this low vibrational magic towards you, these people ended up getting this sexually transmitted disease, which is an STD technically, okay? They're just mad because you're having a spiritual level up. They wanted a spiritual level up or it's a big problem for you having this spiritual level up because they can't use these love spells to manipulate you to get in your energy to get this cleansing. I'm really getting like, yeah, this person was jealous and obsessed of a divine union that was destined to be. So maybe you're going to get, well, you know, you're going to get in a divine union and this person is obsessed with that. Or I'm getting this person might have been obsessed with that and they tried to get revenge on you by sleeping with this person to see if you still care, maybe to drive you away from the new person that you could be with to try to trigger some sort of feelings. Uh, this person knew that this masculine also that they were dealing with was doing love spells on you and they thought that it was working they thought this masculine was coming over there to you so yeah because they used to poison his food and he don't let them cook for them no more so therefore he's not under her spell anymore he's realizing she's an attention whore just like him though and that was very unexpected for him to be in a toxic relationship with a toxic person and not just be the toxic person himself he don't know how to play mind games when someone else is playing them with them and this feminine is playing mind games with him both of them are like they like to usually dominate people they feel like they're very strong personalities i like to intimidate and dominate people and they thought that they were going to do that to you, I'm guessing. And that's a big no. All right, both of these people are obsessed with money and they're willing to betray and lie on anyone to do it. They know you have divine protection and they were trying to betray you and lie on you to get some money from you. All right, you may have known both of these people. Um, like I said, you could have been with the masculine. This could have been, you know, somebody you knew, a feminine or somebody who played you or tried to do whatever. I have no idea. Like I said, though, this person likes to trick this masculine found that out and now he feels like you were a blessing and he just did what he did for social status and he messed up his okay so he's figuring out what a divine masculine is and a karmic is he's realizing he's the karmic he's very obsessed obsessed with that issue because i don't think he minds being karmic but he minds that you'll you're the you're divine and he don't like that so he want to come sleep with you and get in your energy. But then I'm thinking also he thinks that, oh my goodness, this feminine want to be fake with you and come around and get some sort of potions or, 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 or whatever she feel like you can mix up, spiritual bath or whatever you can mix up so that she can get rid of her STD. And this masculine... Or for some of y'all, if y'all don't mix up things, but it says herbalist, so that's why I'm going that way. But for some of you guys, if y'all don't mix up things, then this could possibly be just with prayer, okay? You know, cleansing your body from things that don't need to be there. You have a certain anointance on you that this person does not have, and they can't get out of this situation. Both of them crotches is burning. Both of them uncomfortable is all like those, and they trying to get in touch with you behind each other's backs. <laughs> behind each other's backs this feminine want to come to you and be fake and try to get some sort of recipe to some sort of spell so that she can get it out for her and this masculine want to come to you and get your cleansing and protection so that he can get some money and get away and get this disease out for him so what i'm getting is this feminine is more so focused on finding a cure to this std that she got so that's making me feel like shh, and it keeps saying something about her sending cool cat she was the one who gave this masculine the disease that's why he trying to run over here back to you he want to get next to you he don't want to be with her no more because he felt like she could have been a hoe but she had her to be a dirty hoe wow i don't think this masculine cares about like i said these people don't care about each other they got with each other just to try to sneak you and get a reaction out of you but it didn't work they both did it for attention and it was unexpected that you didn't care <laughs> So now they feel like, oh, you a two-time and some bitch. Oh, you a sneaky motherfucker. They feel like, oh, you got a soulmate out here if you don't give a damn about what we doing. Child. They feel like you got somebody out here if you don't care about what. And she think he coming back to you. Yeah, she's still over here trying to be you 
to entertain this man so she can keep him. She got to pretend to be you and you ain't been around her in so long. She don't know what kind of energy you got going on. And she obviously ignoring the fact that this masculine know exactly what she got going on. And she was just in it for the cash. And that's why he not giving her no money. He taking back what's his. She thought he was going to be an easy target. But now he's awakened to it. Because like I said, he don't eat her poison ass food no more. He picking up on the fact that he lost his divinity. He's very obsessed. Depressed. He feels like, you know, she said coochie. He sort of kind of still want to be with her, even though he don't have any interest for her. She be love bombing him. So these people trauma bond. <laughs> these people be trauma bond and keeping each other company, making each other feel good about the fucked up things they do. So he really feels comfortable, more comfortable with her. I think he felt like you feel like you're better than them. You're, But it's just you just don't do some shit people do. OK, you just don't. And you don't want to. You're in a divine energy. You don't have to. And obviously you stop doing karmic things because you're in a different energy. This person just does not respect that. Um, getting this feminine don't respect it either she feel like you used to do this and you used to do that but i'm getting you never was as bad as her like i said she sells vagina she likes to drink she puts stuff in people drink okay she threatened people blackmail sacrifices if you don't give her no money it's like she don't mind being a third party and if you don't give her no money then she gonna tell your people this woman also thought getting pregnant by this masculine was gonna stop you so maybe she's trying to get pregnant by this masculine and that's why he's trying to hurry up and run away. But she can't get pregnant because she is in a lower vibration and she got this STD and she got to get rid of it. So basically neither one of these people can do what it is they want to do because they have this STD. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, oh, look, Gemini, two-faced. Okay, these people are one and the same. Hmm. Karma is a what? Wonderful woman. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is it. This is all. I'm going to go ahead and clean the table off, and we'll get into another energy read for this evening. So if you enjoyed this one, come meet me in the next one, all right? <laughs>